Welcome back to another video with Jenny and Davis where you have the opportunity to be the viewer. It's 817 and one of our sales employees isn't here yet, which is a little odd because every other day he's been like 10 minutes early because he's been really excited. So anyways, I'm going to give him a call. Uh, hopefully everything's okay. But uh, this week on my way to a networking event, I realized something pretty huge. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are taking a little field trip. So first things first, before we go anywhere, I need to get gas because <laughs> I drove all the way to work like on empty this morning, which is not good. Uh, yeah, I'm just one of those people. We're going to get gas. All right, so we are here at the first location for the builders that I'm visiting. Stuff like this used to make me really nervous and I would always be scared to go in. Now, I just don't care. I've gotten numb when people like reject me. I'm, I'm over freaking out about the rejection because I've had way too many opportunities where I just did it and it paid off and I was so happy I did and that I didn't turn around because I was scared. So, without further ado, let's do this. One eternity later. It is food time, so let's go home. Food time. So update on the late sales employee. I just got off the phone with him. He said he slept through his alarm. I totally get it. It's a new job, new hours. It's his first week. It happens. Uh, it's not a habit or anything like that. So he says he'll be here in a few minutes. I'm just so glad he's like not in a car accident or anything or nothing bad happened. So over the past year, I figured out that I've only spent about 10 hours per week on sales with all the administrative work and just general organization it takes to run a business. I only spend 10 hours a week making phone calls and sending emails and following up with people. And I realized I was able to make about $9,000 a month in sales, but just by doing it 10 hours a week. And it's not that I didn't want to allocate more hours to sales. I wanted to, believe me, if I never had to do another piece of paperwork or administrative work for the rest of my life and I could just stay on the phone with people making sales, I would do it. Also, we're on our way to a networking lunch. I think they're gonna have fajitas and I'm so excited because they're always so good. They serve such good fajitas. But because I had so few hours to dedicate to sales, our business was losing growth, which is never good in a business. If you're not growing, you're dying. Our product is great, but it's not always the best product that wins every time. It's the best known product that wins every time. So what do we do about that? We needed to hire some salespeople to help us get better known. But let me tell you, hiring salespeople is tough. You need to find people who are not scared of rejection, who are not scared of being told no right to their face. You need people that are good at building relationships and can confidently convey how our product solves the customer's problems. One company that's been solving our problems lately is North One, because while finding salespeople is difficult, paying them definitely hasn't been. North One is a business banking platform inspired by small business owners for small business owners, freelancers, and entrepreneurs. They save you time and take the stress out of banking for your business. It takes just three minutes to download the North One app and create your account with the link in the description below. Once you create your account, you'll get a business debit card to make secure and contactless purchases. Whether you're at home or on the go, everything you need to manage your business finances are at your fingertips. You can even link software like QuickBooks so that you as a business owner can quickly generate profit and loss statements, funding reports, and track your spending and manage employees. This is awesome for us because we've always used QuickBooks to pay our employees and run our payroll systems, and the fact that it's now integrated with North One is super convenient. Another awesome feature that North One has is their envelopes. It's an automated budgeting tool within the app. It makes business budgeting a breeze. You can budget for things like rent, payroll, taxes, and more. This is super convenient for us because we wanna hire more sales employees in the future and we can budget using envelopes to kind of plan for their payroll and paychecks upfront. North One takes pride in being radically transparent and their customers will never be surprised by unexpected fees. With free ACH transfers, no overdraft fees, free deposits at over 80,000 locations, and access to over 2 million ATMs, North One only charges a flat $10 monthly fee. 
So use the link below down in our description to download North One today and start managing your business finances with ease. We know for a fact that North One is making a difference for so many business owners as we speak. After last week's video, North One told us that a lot of you used our link to download the North One app and open your account, which means you are not alone if you're a small business owner looking for a better business banking solution. New users that download North One using our link will automatically get a $10 credit for for their first month when they open and fund an account. So thanks, North One, for taking some of the stress out of our hiring process. And surprise, surprise, guess who is out of gas again, like running on fumes? Jenny is. I know Davis is cringing watching this, but I'm basically out of gas. Well, 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 what do we have here? It is 97 degrees in Houston right now. Uh, it could not be further from the fall season, but I do not care. I still got a pumpkin cream cold brew coffee, and guess what? This has literally never happened to me before. Not once in my whole life, in my whole decade's worth of life. Nobody has ever spelled my name right on the Starbucks order. Look at that. J-E-N-N-I-E. -N -N -E. Not J-E-N-N-Y, not J-E-N-N-I, not Jennifer, not Jeannie. Not Josephine, I've gotten everything. Jenny. Did today just turn into the best day ever? Is today the best day of my life? Is everything, will I ever have a better day than this? Stay tuned, stay tuned. So everybody else gets to play basketball because they're good at it. I <laughs> get to hang the Kanban board on the wall. Although it looks nice. We use these like metal fasteners that we use to hang the sound panels. It's really nice. It's not just hung, it's well hung. I'll just wait till we get a mini golf, like a putt putt yeah, course. Let's go. I'm ready for that. <laughs> Clean all y'all up. With more people in the office means more snacks are being eaten, means more restock more often. So let's go do that. Yeah. So to start hiring people, I started asking friends and asking some of our past clients if they knew anybody who needed a job or might be interested in a sales position. We bring it up during networking groups and we even made a couple social media posts saying that we were hiring people. And we found a couple of folks that way and we started training them, but for a different reason each time, all of them found a, a better opportunity and ended up leaving. All the while, I've been making most of the sales in the business. And I've got a problem because how do I reach that? I got little legs. I feel like I'm 10 years old climbing on my kitchen counter to get a glass out of the cupboard. I haven't done that in years. But don't get me wrong, we have learned something huge and so valuable from each and every person that has come through that door into our sales department. We're just feeling a little discouraged because it's hard to get good people. It's hard to find good candidates. And we're getting a little discouraged because they all keep leaving. We started listing the job with a few online hiring services and those worked all right, but about a dozen times now, I will find a good looking applicant, I will get them on the phone, we'll have a great conversation, we'll schedule an interview, I'll confirm with them that they're still coming the night before, and they just won't show up. They won't show up to their own interview. I don't get it. It's insane. Out of our 24 applicants that I've been in contact with, we've only hired two. That's it. And I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to maintain faithfulness in the process when you're constantly getting ghosted. So inevitably, we started thinking to ourselves, maybe we are doing something wrong. So we talked with a sales recruiter that we had met at one of our networking events, and he said, no, actually your compensation structure is a lot better than most other sales jobs. 
brief question as I'm looking through all of these cookies. <clears throat> Does anybody actually like Nutter Butters? Do you actually eat them and enjoy them? Because they come in these packs of cookies, like we've got these chocolate chip cookies, and then we've got like a classic favorite, Oreos. And these always come with them, but like I've never actually liked these. For some reason, I just, I don't. They're always the last ones left in the pack. Is that the same way with you guys? Like, would you eat these, would you eat Nutter Butters first or last out of the pack of cookies? Let me know if you're a Nutter Butter fan or if these would just be left over in the box. So the sales recruiter was actually really encouraging. He was telling us, it's just hard to find good salespeople. No matter the industry, it's just hard. And that it'd be way easier for us to find builders and laborers and people to work in the shop. So subscribe and stay tuned if you also want to watch our journey when it comes to helping people build out in the shop. Definitely won't want to miss that. So as much as I hate it, the lesson here is patience. I swear, the lesson is always patience, isn't it? The lesson is always patience. Anyways, faithfulness requires persistence even when your situation looks very bleak. We know there's a better future ahead of us even if we can't exactly see it. We're trusting that the right people are gonna come at the right time. And in the meantime, we just need to continue to learn and grow from every person that comes our way. And if we don't find any more good salespeople before the holiday season, that's fine. More commission for me. And he just left. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> um, he was very respectful and kind, but he informed us that he had taken a new position. So yeah, he's here for four days. He was great, I really liked him, but he has moved on. That's how it goes. It is how it goes. I can't keep doing this forever. It's been 20 seconds. Call it. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.